Attention, everybody! It is Sunday, August 26th, and this is episode 43 of the Daily Comic. I'm Jimmy Bird. This is a show in which I read one comic book a day, and then I come here and tell you what I thought about that comic. Uh, trying to get this in under the gun. It's been another long day here in Paradise, so I want to get this in as a Sunday show, episode 43. And today's comic is Damage... Annual number one. Damage annual number one. You see the cover art. If I can get it out of the glare. There we go. So the idea is simple. I've never read a Damage comic. Um, I get. I know a little bit about the storyline. We have this monster on a leash, I guess as they refer to him. Uh, he's a soldier who uh, Ethan Avery volunteered to be this monster and he is damaged for one hour at a time. So basically think Incredible Hulk meets 24. And, excuse me, you have damage. You have DC's damage. This is annual number one. Now before this was eight issues. The thing I always, I always talk about with annuals um, is its own self-contained story arc. So you have a beginning, middle, and end you don't have the story arc that usually lasts five, six, seven issues. The annuals should be a good place for new readers to pick up, um, for uh, people who haven't read in a while, just to kind of catch up on what's going on, um, for something fun to do. Um, this, as far as an annual is concerned, by that definition, failed. Um, I, I get the idea that we have this kind of origin story of what happened. Um, I'm getting the feeling that if you are a avid reader of Damage, if you've read issues one through eight so far, that there is um, some good payoff here for you as a fan of Damage, the comic book. But as a new reader, as an annual, um, by my definition, I think it fails. I think it falls short. Um, it's a decent story. The art works okay. Um, it, you've got, like I said, you've got that kind of Hulk meets 24. You've got this countdown clock. Um, it's intense, but I feel like the action itself is just a like a background thing to this story they're trying to give you as far as the, the origins of the program and the soldiers uh, in the program. So, I mean, it's an interesting read. If you're a fan of Damage or you've been looking to get into Damage, um, this one... Kind of, again, this works as the, this is the origin story of what's going on, um, but as an annual, it kind of falls short. So again, Damage fans, rejoice. You have the comic you've been wanting. New fans, I would warn you to stay away, but maybe not if you're interested in Damage, and if what I've just said so far has interested you in the idea of like, oh, I've never heard of this guy, but I like the idea of a Hulk for one hour a day, or, you know, Hulk, you know, Hulk meets 24, um, maybe this is the one for you, and you pick it up. So anyway, that's why I thought of Damage Issue 1. If you're interested, you can pick up that, and thousands more like it, at Paper Street Trading Company, here in lovely downtown Norwood, Ohio. If you read Damage Number 1, what did you think of it? What should I read next? Uh, you can put all that in the comments below. Make sure to, to like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I will be back tomorrow with another comic. Have a great night.